Yeah, they, they played well, didn't they? They were. Um, it was mainly their total, though. It was too big. Yeah, they, they played well, didn't they? They were. Um, I thought they were excellent. We um, we wanted to bowl first. We thought it was a new pitch. There'd been a bit of talk about the grass on it. We'd watched a lot of games that Calcutta had played, and uh, decided that was the best option for the side if we get a bit of assistance. We started beautifully, and then we just got a little bit loose. and um, And Rod Sharma's in great form, and, and Lendl Simmons has been playing well, and and they just quickly grabbed momentum and we just weren't good enough to stop it. And I think the game they played from about the second over on was, um, was almost faultless. It was a very good performance by them and, and we just stuttered and it was probably pretty similar to the last five or six games we've played. We weren't at our best and we were just trying to hang on, but it wasn't good enough. And looking back, would you have batted first? Oh, I think probably in hindsight, um, but look, everything suggested bowl um, because it was fresh wicket, it was um, a good amount of grass on there. What we didn't expect for it was to get any inconsistency and this ground is renowned for chasing. Kolkata do it all the time, so we took a leaf out of that book. Um, in, in hindsight, but I think it's possibly because of the way they played. Um, they, bo they bowled a very smart game. We obviously had scoreboard pressure, so we were, we were playing a catch-up game. And that can often make conditions look a bit worse than what it was. So I think it was more pressure than anything, and that was down to the large total. Stephen, Dr. Uh, almost a Thank similar you. question. Do you think MS misread the pitch? No, we read it as a team. No, it's very hard. It's not, it's not a science. And look, I read a lot of your interviews and articles as well, and they suggested it was going to be um, a green grass and quite fresh. So um, this room, I would imagine, um, we're saying the same thing. In hindsight, you'll probably say something different, but it doesn't win or lose you the game, not in 2020. Um, the way they played won the game for them, and um, they got a great total on the board, and they bowled aggressively. We, we didn't bat as well as we could because we were under pressure. Um, when you're chasing a big score to, to only manage sort of 35-40 in the first six is a, a tribute to their opening bowlers. They did well and, and just shut us down. So any hopes we had of, um, of chasing it down were, were, were quashed pretty quickly. Thank you. Since the loss against KKR in the finals of 2012, finals have been a jinx for CSK twice against Mumbai and yep. once against KKR. Is it mental? No, we, we won the Champions League, the, the last tournament, so it's not it's not mental. It's just on the day, um, and it's very tough to win. You've got um, two good sides going at it, and we've come across some great performances. We've had. An individual performance with Bislow that beat us with 195, um, we've been below par for one. It can be such a fine line and we're realistic. Um, the team will get you to this stage, which we're very proud of, and then it's individual performances on the day. And uh, we lost to McCullum, a couple of key players, so we were sort of trending down this way a little bit, whereas they were they were riding a high and, and very settled. So we, we've been hanging on, we've been hanging on for the last uh, couple of weeks, um, hoping more than looking forward to a good performance. Uh, and in particular with the batting. Batting's been our strength, but um, our numbers this year are well down. So it was actually our bowling that has um, done well. Uh, Stephen, any particular reason behind uh, Kazan batting way down the order today? Yep, um, it's just the way it panned out. Uh, when you had a top three batsman bat 11 overs, Faf's a guy who can um, keep an innings together, rotate. But when you're chasing 15 runs and over, um, that's not Faf Duplessis's game. So he, we have stages where he bats. And, um, and by bringing Rayner back to three, we wanted him to bat a majority of the time. But the, the top three guys just couldn't get any momentum. And I think he was introduced that we lost a wicket about the 11th over. And at that stage, with the, as you say, the run rate's 14 or 15, you need your hitters to come in early. And uh, that, that's just not a main part of his game. Steve, uh, I have two questions. Yep. Just one, please, just one. <laughs> uh, just give it a go, mate. Give it a go. Yeah. Well, we have four seamers still. So you have Ashish Nero, you've got Mohit Sharma, Bravo and Smith. Um, and our spinners, you look at Jadeja and Negi as one, really. They're, they're all rounders. So, and then we have our two spinners. So Ashwin and Jadeja and Negi make up the three. So on, on paper, you might think it's spin heavy, but at seven and eight, they're, they're all rounders. So we had, we had our bases covered. We had four seamers and, uh, and two slash three spinners. That's enough. Yeah. Is that a fair assessment? Is that a fair, what is the reason behind uh, 
Yeah, well, it feels like that, but that's not meant to be disrespectful in any way. It just felt like we never got going. We um, we had one dominant batting performance when I think McCallum got 100. The rest of the games have been on pitches in Chennai, which have been hard work. So sort of 150, 140 to 160 have been good scores. And then it's just been very hard work restricting teams. And um, it sort of gave an impression and sort of felt to us that it was very tough. No one was in full flow. We've got batters that like the ball coming on and, and can score freely. But... It was just a very difficult season. We really had to, to, to graft our way through. We were pleased with the way we adapted, and I think to, to be top of the table is, um, is a good achievement. But obviously we were looking further ahead. And the team that we had picked and played, um, we were looking forward to spin conditions and ranch if things didn't work out in Mumbai and here, which has been spin-dominated. The fact that it was a, a, good wood, a good pitch, it wasn't a green seamer, so that answers that question as well. Um, it was a good pitch, but it wasn't as um, spinner friendly as what we'd hoped. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. You sure? I'm going good. Okay. Thanks, guys.